Hello guys, this is Anthony again with Fat Tony's Dips and today I'll be showing you how to hydro dip a 4.7 Magnum engine cover off a 2000 Dodge Dakota. So I had the tutorial video that I put out, you guys probably saw it, maybe not, go check it out. Um, I just showed you how to hydro dip for beginners and now I'm slowly working my way up to different levels of now that you kind of got the hang of how to dip, you can do some bigger items, stuff like that, and you could probably make some money off of it, especially if you're younger or sell it to younger. High school kids love this kind of stuff, so uh, that's why I'd suggest. But um, so I have my film here, same skull, not using a different film just to keep repetition with the previous video that I made of how to hide your dip for beginners. So um, I got everything taped up, still taping the edges because I think it's very important to do that while you're still practicing and learning how to do stuff. Tape off the edges really helps. And then um, my port currently is just drying off because I just finished painting about 30 minutes ago. So as soon as it gets dry to the touch, we'll dip it in. And that's something I did not mention in my how to hydro dip for beginners video. Make sure that you have it. You can't just paint the object and let it sit for a couple weeks. For best results, you paint it and you dip it that same day. I do a couple hours after it's like dry to the touch, maybe five to six hours. I get the best results that way. Maybe some people don't. That's what I do and I get really good results from it. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna uh, cut the video to actually dipping the cover. Hi guys, so I'm back and uh, now that the paint settled for a little bit, like you said, you wanna do, as soon as paint dries to the touch is when you wanna dip. So, I'm gonna take my film that I got here. Um, so as I said, I always go shiny side up. You can also test it, dip your fingers in water, put it on like a scrap piece of film and pull on it. Whichever side sticks to your finger goes down. So for this instance, it is shiny side down. So I always bow it in the middle. Let's drop her in. As you work through it, make sure no air bubbles, make sure nothing. See, I had one issue where it leaked there, but that's not really much of a problem. So then here's the engine cover that will be dipped. So it's dry to the touch for the most part. And I gotta wait one second for the thing to sell, so that way I can figure out, I forgot which way I gotta put it in. So I'm gonna have the skulls going vertically, of course, in the engine bay. And that would be like, yeah, like this. So that's how I'm gonna have to dip it. So we'll wait a little bit, as soon as you see all these wrinkles go out, and then that's time to dip. There you see the air bubble, you just kind of work it. Now it's been about long enough, most of it blind, so let's take a hand. 